Okay, so we're told here that we're given two similar polygons or similar shapes. And we want to know what is the length of BC, RU, and CD. So, of course, I want to label those right away, and that's usually my first point of advice. It's easy to get lost in these diagrams. So here is BC. We want to know the length of that leg. RU. We want to know the length of this leg over here. And CD which is this leg right here. So we're trying to find out those lengths. How do we do it? Well, with similar shapes or polygons, what you have to realize is that corresponding side lengths, right, are, are not always equal exactly, but they grow proportionately. And that's going to be really helpful. So the only two that we have that we can use as a basis for the others, right, is this leg, AB, and this leg, RS. And what is that ratio? Well, the ratio um, of leg AB to RS is the ratio of their lengths. AB is 4 centimeters, and RS is 7 centimeters, and that's our ratio, 4 to 7. And that might not be so helpful, but that allows us to figure out BC. BC is the missing length right here, this side. So over here, right, it stands to reason that AB so RS, I'm going to write that as a fraction, is going to be equal to the ratio because this is the definition of a similar shape, right? We're trying to find BC to BC, right? that first triangle, we don't know what it is, over what? Well, here's BC, so here is the next leg that we need. It's ST, they correspond, ST and BC are in the same relative position. So what's that? That's six centimeters, and that's that's segment ST. So filling this in now, AB four centimeters. I'll put a four there over seven equals X over six, and that's ST. Multiply both sides by six, or everything by six. This crosses out. Six times four is twenty-four over seven. Twenty-four over seven. What does that equal? Well, seven goes into twenty-four three times. That's 21, and there's 3 sevenths left over. So x here is equal to 3, right, and 3 sevenths. What is the side length of ru? Well, we just established right from the start that the ratio is 4 to 7, so we can use a proportion. 4 over 7, the relationship between our two red lines here, a, b, and s, r, or r, s, will equal the same proportion as the two legs down here, the leg AD and the leg RU. Right? They're connected, they're corresponding sides. So AD is equal to 2, RU is unknown. This time we're going to multiply both sides by RU. Right? It cancels out. Now I have RU times 4 sevenths equals 2. So I'll multiply both sides by 7 over 4, the reciprocal. This allows me to cancel out and make things a little bit e easier times 7 over 4, because these cancel out. 2 over 4 is a half, right? And RU is 7 over 2, which is equal to 3.5. And we can put that right on here, 3.5. That makes sense. It's a little bit longer than AD. What is the length of CD? That's this little length right here. So again, we'll use our proportion. So AB, 4 to RS, 7, it's going to be equal to CD, which we don't know, over 2. Now we just solve for CD. Multiply both sides by 2, cancel out, right, 2 is over here, 8 over 7, right, and that's 1 and 1 seventh for length CD, 1 and 1 seventh. Let me fix how I wrote that, 1 and 1 seventh. And that's CD. So those are our sides here. The idea, again, using the fact that whatever side lengths we have, because they're similar shapes, the side lengths all grow by the same proportion. So they're either all doubled, they're all multiplied by one and a half. Um, there's all, all sorts of ways of scaling these around. All right, thanks.